This video is sponsored by Canto. So here's a, a little trick that's interesting. If you ever find yourself where you've got artwork that's just way bigger than your artboard and you start going zoom out and fit in window, well, fit in window really means fit the artboard in the window. So it pay, doesn't pay attention at all to the fact that I have all this artwork. So if you ever want to, what I would call really fit in window, then what you do is hold down the command key on the Mac control for windows and double click on the zoom tool and it goes to 3.1% view. So you can't fit it in the window much more than that. And then of course we could take our zoom tool and start to get in a little closer, but at least that way you don't have to worry that I'm not sure if I'm seeing the whole thing. So that's just a quick little trick to really literally fit it in the window very, very far. Another option, this one is really useful when you have very detailed artwork and you spend, you're spending a lot of time as you're creating zooming in and zooming back out and then zooming into this area and then zooming back out. So if it's an ongoing project where you know I need to look at this view quite often but I also need to go back to fit in window view which in this case is quite a significant difference then one of the things that we can do in Illustrator which is really quite helpful is you get to the view you want and then you save it as a view. So under the view menu, right at the very bottom, it says new view. Now, it prompts me to name it new view one, which is not a good name at all. I would suggest like at least like new view 13 or something would be a much better. Now, I mean, obviously you give it some name that makes sense to you, like what it is like Yellowstone uh, 180 or whatever it is. So now we're working away on this project and we want to go and look at those same things, you just go back and there's your new view right at the bottom and it jumps right to that view. If you're one of those people that's old school illustrator that still periodically goes to outline view for certain things, that could be part of the view you save. So one of the things I think is useful to do is to create two views of the same document. So what you do, it's a two-step process. You first of all go to the window menu and choose new window. So this is not duplicating the document, it's making a second window of the same document. Then you go right back to the window menu and choose arrange tile. And now what we can do is in, for example, this view, zoom in really close, but now any editing changes I make here, I know it's gonna update on the other one. So whatever I do, I make a change here that in this view is really obvious, but at the same time it updates in the other view, so it really helps me keep perspective of or keep context of what's happening. So this is a logo, and I would like to set myself up here so that every time I made a new document, I would be able to have access to this. I wanna also mention that this function I'm gonna show you can do a lot of things, it can be a custom page size, it can be, there's a whole list of things that include like guides and swatches and so set up a document in Illustrator as if it's just an Illustrator document with whatever you want in it. For things like this, I would take this logo and drag it into say the symbols panel and click OK and now it's put in there. And then the final step is you go save as, and we're gonna have to do some digging here, we go to applications and then Illustrator and support files, new document profiles, English, and then you call it something and hit save. When I go to create a new document, it brings up this nice new interface of here's all the things you can pick from, but if you look over here where it says more settings, and then this list, here are ones I have done previously, and you'll see, for example, it's gonna put in whatever custom size I had to create the document, and I happen to this one put it in the brushes panel just to do something different. So in effect, that's now built into any new document I create. Thank you so much for your attention. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.